On June 8, 2022, a young woman of 24 years old became India's first solo gamist. And she immediately caught the attention of so many, so many around the world. In order for us to understand why, let's look at the topic of sologamy and the story of Shama Bindu. Hello everyone, welcome back to Influencing Right to Tracy. This is another episode of Social Topics. For this episode, we will be talking about sologamy and we will be featuring the story of our most recent self-proclaimed sologamist, Shama Bindu from India. And we'll also be mentioning a few others before her, because believe me, there have been quite a few sologamists before Shama Bindu. I'm so sorry that this video has taken a while. It's long overdue. I mentioned a while ago that I was going to do this video, but there has just been so much going on that I couldn't do it. But now I'm ready and I hope you are. But before we get into today's video, I would like you to please follow our school's page on Facebook, the Racy Brighter Future Education Center. The school is located in Monrovia, Liberia. We currently have two branches, one in Nasal Community, Pinsville, Monrovia, and the other in So Clinic Community, Pinsville, Monrovia. I'd like you to please go onto Facebook, search up our page, and give it a like or you know follow for support and if you are in liberia i'll appreciate it if you go to our school campus and pay us a visit especially if you are in the peaceville area you would want to consider sending your child or ward to our institution because we provide nothing but the best facilities now let's get into today's video there are various forms or types of marriages the most common type of marriage is monogamy, where there is basically a one-to-one -one ratio, a husband and a wife. And then there's polygamy. Polygamy is when a person has more than one married partner at the same time. When it is a man that has more than one wife, it is called polygyny. And when it is a woman that has more than one husband, it is called polyandry. Now get this. If a polygynist wives are sisters, it is called sororal polygyny. And when his wives are not related, it is called non-sororal polygyny. And when a woman who is a polyandrist marries more than one brothers, it is called a fraternal polyandry. And when the brothers are not, when the husbands are not related, it is called a non-fraternal polyandry. I can't help but chip in this information since I find it interesting. In the case of a polygynous marriage where the man is married to more than one wife, there is not the question of paternity, right? Because there's just one man involved. But in the case of a polyandrous marriage where the woman is married to more than one man, there is often the question of paternity. Who is actually the father of the children. Well, amongst people practicing polyandry, there are different traditions out there for the picking of who is considered the father in a, you know, a polyandrous marriage. Whether it is the oldest brother in a fraternal polyandry that is considered the father of all the children, or all the brothers or all the husbands are considered the fathers of all of the children, none of these traditions actually considers DNA. So there's no way you can actually say that biologically each of these children, these are their fathers. It's just, you know, traditions. It's crazy. And if you want us to consider the topic of polyandry in another video and go in depth about it, I would like you to just comment down below that you want polyandry to be our next topic and then we will do that. But let's get back to today's topic. Now, another form of marriage is sologamy. And as you can already tell, sologamy is our topic for this video. Sologamy, also known as autogamy, is a form of marriage of a person to themselves basically self-marriage marrying yourself i don't know how else i can put it 
I, Tracy, take myself to be my lawfully wedded wife. Sologamy is not common. It is actually believed to not have been a thing until the 21st century. The first uh, recorded act of sologamy is believed to have occurred in 1993 when a dental hygienist in Los Angeles married herself. And then an NBA player named Dennis Rodman, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm getting that correct, also married himself and then a few others up to our most recent Shama Bindu from India. Before we get to the main question of why, what is driving us to the point of deciding to marry ourselves? Why is sologamy actually becoming a thing? Let's consider other questions that, you know, might be valid. Are there any benefits to sologamy? I guess there are benefits emotionally because, I mean, there have to be some sort of joy or satisfaction. It must bring someone for them to want to marry themselves but legally there are no benefits since the wedding itself is not even legal there's no way you can benefit from marrying yourself or practicing the act of sologamy legally maybe someday someday in the future maybe but right now there's no legal benefits to sologamy is sologamy legal even though sologamy is gradually becoming more common and popular, it is not legal anywhere around the world. At least not yet. Who knows, it might be legal very soon, but not yet. Not anywhere around the world. Sologamy is not legal. How is sologamy done? Depending on where you are from, which part of the world you are from, the wedding is pretty much done like every other regular wedding. There, are, there is a ceremony, there are friends and family present, there is a saying of vows, sometimes even a priest or someone to officiate it. But there's just no signing of any legal documents or wedding certificates. There is nothing like that. And obviously, there's just either a bride or a groom. No other partner. Just you. How is divorce done in sologamy? Can you actually divorce yourself? I mean, when you divorce someone, you guys have to go separate ways, but you cannot actually separate from yourself. Anyways, I guess in sologamy, divorce is less stressful because there's no legal procedure involved. The marriage is not legal in the first place. So you, I, you basically just declare yourself divorce. And it has actually happened. A woman in Brazil actually divorced herself after three months of sologamy or being married to herself because she said she had met someone else. Yeah. So she basically declared herself divorced from herself so that she could be with someone else. Now, to come back to the question of why, why sologamy? As absurd as anything might sound, there's always a reason to it. Even with the various forms of marriages, like the polyandry. For the few tribes still practicing polyandry, they mostly practice fraternal polyandry. And that is all the brothers in a family marries one wife. And this is purely economic because the property of the family is quite limited and if the brothers have to marry different wives they will have to share the property so they just marry one wife so that they can maintain or contain the properties amongst the family or within the family so to understand why sologamy let's look at the story of our most recent sologamist Shama Bindu from India. She first announced the wedding to have occurred on the 11th of June, but due to the controversies of not being allowed to marry in a temple because it was against 
uh, Hinduism and others. She resulted to solemnizing the wedding at her home. She carried out all the necessary Hindu marriage rites with a few friends and family present. Since she is a gender fluid person, she dressed up in clothes befitting for both groom and bride throughout her ceremony. Shama Bindu says she made the decision of marrying herself just three months before her wedding. She was watching a Netflix series called Anne with an E and there was a dialogue where it was said, I want to be a bride, but not a wife. And she realized that was exactly what she wanted. Now, I personally have not watched the series, but whilst doing my research, I searched it up and then I noticed that the series has like three seasons and I personally didn't think I could finish watching it in time to make this video. So if you have actually watched the series, the Netflix series and with an E and you know which season and episode exactly this dialogue was said, kindly comment it down below so that you know we can also go and search it up and watch it. So what was her reason or what is her reason for making this decision. Most of the time when people do something that is out of what we know as normal, we try to go back into their past to find reasons. It could be something traumatic that they experience and they haven't healed from it, or their environment, or the people that they grew up with, something along those lines. Shama Bindu, however, says even though she never knew it was possible to marry herself she never had intentions of marrying someone else or going into the institution of marriage with someone else even though she admits to being sexually assaulted as a child and having to undergo other traumatic experiences growing up she never actually ascribed those as reasons for making this decision of marrying herself or not going into the institution of marriage with someone else and when she watched Anne with an e and saw those lines uh th that dialogue where it is said that i want to be a bride and not a wife and then realized that was what she wanted that was when she actually started googling whether it is possible she started to research whether it is possible for her to marry herself and then she came across sologamists sologamists are people who marry themselves basically as we've said and when she came across the institution of sologamy and she researched and realized that there have been lots of other women that have actually undergo or practice the act of sologamy she decided that was what she wanted. That was what she wanted for herself. After doing her research and deciding that this was what she wanted and she was determined to go for it, this gave birth to India's first sologamist, Shama Bindu, the 24 year old woman who married herself. So like I said in the beginning of this video, Shama Bindu is not the first person to have actually practice sologamy but according to research mostly women are the ones practicing sologamy most sologamists are women even with a few cases of men like the most recent man who practiced sologamy the brazilian man who married himself in 2020 his was due to uh, an engagement that had been broken up and they had already prepared for the wedding ceremony. An amount of 61,000 US dollars was spent on the preparation and he didn't want it to go to waste. So he walked down the aisle alone and, you know, declared his vows to himself and literally married himself. But aside that, most of the practice of sologamy is done by women and this has raised a lot of questions so my question to you is why do you think sologamy is becoming a thing and why do you think it's becoming more common amongst women and would you as a person consider going into the institution of sologamy if so why if not why not Kindly comment your answers down below and thank you so much for watching this video. 
to the very end i appreciate it a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because we have more coming up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye